Hi everyone, welcome to the Multiplication Bakery. In today's lesson, we are going to learn what is multiplication and why do we need it. We'll also learn the multiplication strategies to do multiplications easily. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Sweet Treats Multiplication Bakery needs an assistant. Apply now! So, hi everyone, I am Chef Lola and we need an efficient assistant who can help us sell our confectionaries. No special skills are needed. We'll train you to be an efficient multiplier. First skill that you need to learn is to understand your job responsibilities, aka understanding multiplication. What is multiplication? Well, multiplication simply means copying many times. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, Chef Lala is there, but if you wanted three times of Chef Lala, what would you get? Hmm, three Chef Lalas. So basically, you just copied over Chef Lala three times. Hmm, makes sense. What about if you have a tray of six donuts and you want to copy it over two times? You do multiplication. What would you get? The two trays of donuts and each tray will have six donuts in it. Hmm, so you kind of get multiplication. It's just simply copying over the group of whatever you have multiple times. Okay, but have you wondered why do we need multiplication? Well, let's understand that with the example. Chef Lola bakes a batch of cupcakes. In one batch, she makes four muffins and she bakes five such batches. So, one, two, three, four, five batches. Now she wants to know how many total cupcakes she, did she bake all together? Hmm. Well, you could count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oof! Right? That all took some time. And if she baked 100 batches, it would take us so much time. Well, but if we knew multiplication, we could simply do 5 times 4 and get answer 20. So, multiplication is a magic operation that makes calculation super fast when we need to add same number over and over. Just like in this example, you are repeatedly adding 5, 6 times. You could simply do 5 times 6. Great! So let's see when we need to add same number multiple times. Say you are going to help Shaf stack recipe books. In a stack you place 11 books and you make such 3 stacks. You want to find how many books did you stack all together? Well, for that, you can simply do multiplication 3 times 11, right? How about if you are going to serve some customers? Say you have 4 customers who came to your bakery and you served 4 cookies to each of them. Now you want to find total how many cookies did you serve? Hmm, what do you do? <laughs> You guessed it right. It's multiplication. You will do 4 times 4, right? Now that you know what is multiplication and why do you need to do it, let's learn your next skill. Second skill is to pack boxes, aka creating equal groups. Hmm, what does that mean? You have one box of 4 cupcakes and you want to create 5 times of it. What do you do? You'll first create five boxes or groups. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Now we'll place four cupcakes in each of the group. So what did we create? We created five equal groups of four cupcakes. Equal groups. So if you look at each group, they have same number of cupcakes. Multiplication means creating same copies multiple times. So how we write it? On our left side, we write the number of groups. So here we'll write 5 groups of how many? 4 cupcakes. So we write it as 5 groups of 4. You can also write it as 5 times 4 or 5 fours. Hmm. But most commonly, you will see in your mathematical terms or mathematical equation as 5 
cross for? The cross is a symbol for multiplication. So, if you have liked our video till now, do hit the like button. And if you want to get all the topics for our third grade, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any lesson. Okay, let's continue. So, let's practice. Now, what do you see? How many groups are there? Six groups. And where will we write it? I left. So, six groups of how many muffins? Five. Six times five. Good. You're almost there. And this is the last practice we'll do before we start serving our customer. Ready? What does it say? Three times six. How many groups? Three groups. So let's create three groups. One, two, three. And how many items will go in a group? Six. Let's put one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you see, we created three groups of six. And they can be anything. Three groups of six muffins, three groups of six uh, croissants, three groups of six pretzels, either of the items. Okay, now that we know how to create our equal groups, we are ready to pack our boxes in the bakery. Let's serve our first customer. Hi, I need four boxes of muffins. Each box should have six muffins. Hmm, ready? Okay. Let's do how many groups does she need? Four groups, four boxes. Of how many muffins? Six muffins. So she needs four times six or four sixes. Great. So let's serve it now. One box, two box, three box, four box of six muffins. Good job, guys. You learned your skill and you implemented it. You are ready for your next skill. Let's look at it. Your last skill that we learned today is to count total sold, aka multiplication strategies. <laughs> okay, so now that you know how to make boxes and put the cupcakes, you want to know how many total cupcakes are there in all. So say you have done 5 times 4 and you want to know how many are there. You'll do your first is your equal groups. You'll create 5 boxes with 4 cupcakes in it. Hmm. Now that you have done that, what can you do to calculate? Well, you could go for repeated additions. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. That will be equal to how much? Let's do it together. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. So there are total 20 cupcakes. Hmm. Is there any other strategy that we could do? We know skip counting. We can do the skip counting as well. Let's try that. We'll skip five times and we'll skip fours. Okay. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So see, once we know how to create our equal groups, we could go for repeated additions or skip counting to find total cupcakes. Ready for our first customer? Hi. I need six boxes of chocolate pastry. Each box should have four pastries. How many pastries will I get? Hmm. Let's do the our strategy. We'll create our equal groups first. So we have to create six groups of four. Six times four. So for creating six times four, let's put our six boxes. And in each box, we are going to place four pastries. Hmm. Now what can we do? To calculate, we could go for our repeated additions. Let's calculate 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. How much will that be? 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24. So we gave him 24 pastries. Good job, guys. Okay, let's revise what we have learned so far. We'll do 4 times 7 using all the multiplication strategies. First, let's do equal groups. So let's create four groups. And how many dots go inside? Seven. 
Great. Now we have our equal groups. We'll go for repeated addition to calculate what is the value of the 4 times 7. So 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 7 is 21. 21 plus 7 is 28. Another way to do the same thing is using skip counting. Let's try that too. 7, 14, 21, 28. We skip how many times? The number of groups times, four times. Do you know there's also another strategy for solving multiplication and that is using array. Are you interested? Well, we are going to learn about it in our next lesson. Definitely subscribe so that you're auto notified for our upcoming lesson. Well, it's a trivia time. Guys, if you think the time is less, do pause and try it. Let's start the timer. Well, I hope you got all of them correct. And now that you are an expert, you have been hired. Don't forget to try the trial worksheet. I'll link it down in the description and it's also available on our channel description. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon.